Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about how to use advanced constraints and formulas inside of the Cadence PCB tools. So there might be some instances where you may have one net and you want that to equal from a total length, length point of view, maybe two or three times the length of another net um, for timing purposes, etc. So what we would do is if we go to Constraint Manager, set up Constraints, Constraint Manager, and in this example, I'm going to use uh, the routing and the total etched length um, worksheet. So I've got a couple of nets here, for example. So I've got the um, the AEN A -E slash net. So I'll just analyze that to just give me the current total etched length for that net. And we'll do the same for the BRD slash one. Now what I want is I want the BRD net to equal um, three times this uh, this actual value here. So if we go to the total etched length max column for that specific net in question, I can do a right click and choose formula. Um, I get a warning, obviously, um, if you manually define any rules like this, you must have to um, recalculate themselves. It doesn't get calculated automatically by uh, the tools. You have to do this when you open the, the worksheet. So I then get that effectively the formula worksheet. So, I mean, I can do multi line forwards and browse formulas and, and try and manually do this. Or in this example, I just want to, I want to take this actual value, so I can effectively just select this actual value, and it would get the the correct syntax for me. And then in this scenario, I'm just going to times it by three, um, so that would effectively give me the the formula that I want. When I click OK, straight away I get this orange bar to say this is um, effectively what the constraint is. And at the moment, um, my max value 21, the actual value is going to be 38. So this is three times this value here. Um, so what I could do is I can actually come to this net and then let's just do some delay tune on this and you'll see effectively I get the heads up display at the bottom um, showing whether I'm going to meet the constraint or not so if I go too far I'm going to be too long it's going to go red I keep under the constraint um, we'll stay green we can then go back to constraint manager and you'll see this value here so if we then just analyze the net we know we're, we're meeting the value because we're less than three times the value of this net here so you can right click on the cell that you want and choose the formula option and then define what you need to do.